It's time for another wild adventure on Redemption CO episode five. We are headed up Mount Antero, one of the craziest shuttles I've ever been in, four wheeling on some ice, on some wicked roads, on some white knuckle all the way kind of action. Survival mode. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Bro, how intense is this? Ugh. Give him some room. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Take it in. Oh. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Safety first. I think Nate's already halfway down. Yep. Oh. Probably just about 14,000 feet. Yeah. I think the actual peak is straight ahead. <sighs> hey, this feels good. Going to the right. <sighs> E-bike would get up this thing pretty good, I think. Woo. Oh, the sun feels so good. Wow. I am happy to not die on this road. Of course, that is the single track sampler up ahead in blue. Whew. And this is our buddy Nate, who's our local guide. Ah, yeah. So good. Huh. Well, my hand is feeling okay. This is pretty rough stuff. My back is feeling way better. Just hope and pray the GoPro is capturing it. That was such a mad dash to get everything ready after we got out of the truck that oh i think it's recording <laughs> we are about to get into some real deal stuff on this trail but first i have to give a huge shout out to the fine sponsor of today's video flexi spot as you know a few months ago i did a complete overhaul of this shed and the crown jewel of that build was the e7 pro plus standing desk from flexi spot the response from everyone watching that video was so good that FlexiSpot had to do another ad to show off their awesome desks. And the timing was perfect because my wife Sarah just got a new job where she will be working from home. She went with the same Pro Plus standing desk that I have, but she did the white frame and a dark bamboo top. She also added a monitor arm, a small drawer, and best of all, the foot hammock. Whether you're six foot four or four foot two, you can adjust the height on this standing desk very, very high or very, very low. And everything in between. This thing is heavy duty and the motors can handle 355 pounds, which is just silly. How much stuff do you need on your desk? The cable management underneath the desk is pretty dang good. It's so easy to hide the old rat's nest of cables we all have. Sarah also went with the same chair I got, the OC14 Ergonomic Chair Pro. Such a nice chair. I actually do a lot more sitting than standing with my desk, so it's good to have a great chair. I spent about six years editing my videos at my kitchen counter, and let me tell you, this setup is so much better. I was way overdue for having a nice desk, and maybe you are too. 
Flexi Spot has a ton of great November sales going right now. Click the link in the description. Thank you for supporting the sponsors that support this channel and make these videos possible. Look at this interesting dirt. Yeah. Makes an interesting sound. I can't tell what gear I'm in right now. Perhaps the electronic shifting is <laughs> frozen over. Ooh. Like, do you see a trail? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here, obviously. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah. Yeah, that's rocky, man. Enjoy it. Rocky loose. Frozen creek on the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as long as you got brakes, Woo. buddy. One little misstep. <sighs> Some pedal grabbers Ooh. for sure. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Wow. Holy Superman. <gasps> Ooh. Dead stopper. Yeah, well, I don't even know what just happened. Me neither. Maybe a pedal strike? I did hear something. I thought it was my bars getting torqued, but I oh. guess it totally could have been pedal. Just such a oh, harsh stop. Woo! Sucker holes everywhere. Nice. Ow. How can something so rocky feel so soft? I know. So weird. Holy moly. Nice. Oh man, talk about tunnel vision. Holy, oh my gosh. Yeah, <gasps> blitzkrieg on the hands. Bro, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ow, that rock. Oh, oh nasty. <laughs> Haven't needed to pedal like one time. So dead battery on the shifter can wait for a little while until we get to somewhere warm. Oh, man. Whoa, I just sent a rock flying 20 yards. <laughs> I gotta look ahead. I'm looking at my front wheel. Nothing like a mega shuttle. <laughs> Pretty sandy. Nice. Ha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we're kind of into a different zone now, I think. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nasty. Ooh. Tree down. <laughs> You're insane. Who tries that? Man, conditions have changed so nice now. 
Oh. And it was the remote. I think I went two and a half years without switching the remote battery on my Axis. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Uh, that was cool. Wavy gold. gravy. Uh. Oh, this stuff is so European. Holy moly. Reminds me of those big shuttle days in the Alps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> But commit. You got to commit more than I did. <laughs> I'm fully committed to going around. What, you're not going to do that, Brian? <laughs> I didn't instill confidence in you. I'm trying to heal up. That was uh, not my best moment. Woo oh. Oh. Wow. So cool. This is tough. Ooh, ooh. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen a boulder that big actually move. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Took it with him. Oh. Three for three derailleur clunkers. <laughs> All of us took the hit. We will probably be the last people to ride this trail this year. There's going to be a big snowstorm coming in this weekend. We'll probably shut things down for next till next season. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Wheeling and dealing. Oh, dude, what? Ooh. Ooh. Skinny boy. What is this? Oh. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Yeah, holy moly. Wow. That was. Serious business. And perfectly flat campground trail. <laughs> oh, picking them lines. I don't really think I am. I'm like doing whatever I can. Ooh, survival lines. Ooh. I'm not in a good enough gear. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh. Wow. Oh, nicely done. Really nicely done. Wow. Oh. I could see I could get speed there, but I chose not to, and it was a good choice. Man, there are so many grabbers. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, bud. This is another awesome day on the bike. Ridiculous. Yeah. <sighs> I can't really put it into words, but it is very, it's a different ride than it all is. the other stuff. It is. Rugged backcountry, tough rock picking. I think the loose rocks have a huge part of it. Like, like bigger than normal yes. loose rocks. Definitely. Everything's been such a blur so far. I don't remember if I gave a shout out to our shuttle driver, Matt. He was amazing. He did a great job the whole way through. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> nice. There we go. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> 
I have led you astray, my friend. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. It's true. Wow, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the Colorado Trail now. And there is an option to do a little longer ride, a little harder ride. We're not doing it today. <laughs> we want an easy downhill most of the way kind of ride. But maybe the next time I come ride this trail, we'll go do it. Tough stuff. Front tire just moves around. You good? Hold up, hold up. Yep. Oh. Perfect foot catch on the the roots there. I kind of feel like I'm just hanging on for dear life today. I, thought I was telling Brian that whole beginning section made me feel like an absolute beginner rider. Hey Brian, what was that that Nate told us back a little ways ago? That, that was the last climb. It's all downhill. Yeah, something like that, right? <sighs> And I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but we are going uphill now. Feels pretty nice though. <laughs> You're on my side, come on. <laughs> Let's say flat. Split the difference. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You're good. I lucked into it. Yeah, you took the best line for sure. I'm just skiing. Oh. There's no snow, but I'm definitely skiing. Yeah. Dirt surfing. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ah. We might have to visit a bike shop after <laughs> today. Just Ooh. ignoring the horse poo for now. I am drifting everywhere. Yeah. Mmm, taste that? Yeah, no, you might. I'm, I'm not. Horse I, whiz. I'm happy to be up front. Tastes like victory. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Nice save. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> it is a little spicy. I'm just going to be right down here. Know where to start. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Now, who knows how many miles of road and such. Imagine how many feet of descending we just did. Oh, what an adventure. It's just absolutely absurd. The top goes so fast because you get up there and it's like, yeah, all hell is breaking loose. Yeah. Does that fall under the category of one of those truly wild places left in America? Crazy. Where you can go do something that you could definitely get killed, like die out there? Yeah, it does. It checks the box. Totally. Hardcore. There are no ropes, <laughs> no, no directions. Yeah. There's no one out there to help you if yeah. you get in trouble. There's no cell reception, nothing. Big bad American mountains. We made it back to the vans. Ooh, success. Ooh. And it looks like uh, Matt made it back too. How about that for an adventure ride, huh? Unforgettable, truly amazing. Thank you, Nate, for showing us around. And of course, Matt for the awesome shuttle to the top. When we first discussed the shuttle, Matt was like, uh, 200 bucks. And we were like, ah, oh, that's a lot, but we can make it happen, That that's fine. And then when we get to the top, it's like, this guy's probably breaking $500 worth of stuff on his car to get to the top. 200 bucks is a bargain.
After the ride, we headed to downtown Salida. Many great memories here in Salida from when I first visited Alexander. The downtown is just really neat. If you ever visit, if you ever do the trails, come walk downtown, buy something, go to the shops, go to the restaurants. We went to Osake, which had just opened up a couple days ago. The food was awesome. The <laughs> service was terrible. <laughs> it's kind of the thing, right? Nowadays, it's very hard to find a, a new, for a new restaurant, find waiters and waitresses and all the staff and everything. So they were doing their best, but uh, it's tough when you're first starting up. This town definitely feels like 98% rich people and then 2% people waiting tables. Alexander and I have now made our way west. And let me tell you, if you ever want to have a thrill ride, you can drive between Salida and Gunnison on Highway 50 at night. It is just white knuckle with the animals jumping out in front of the car. I did pretty good this time. I only had a fox and a house cat run in front of the van but I've driven on this highway many times at night, which is the worst, and had big old elk run out in front of the car and not see and deer everywhere. It is just dangeroso. That's one of the main reasons I got big old bad headlight LED lights. It's supposed to be off-road only, but when it's a life or death situation, I'll turn them on. I'm very good about turning them off if uh, you go around a bend and maybe another car is coming, but uh, we survived. Oh, uh -huh. And yes, we did get a hotel. I haven't had a shower in like six days. So. And it's day one now. <laughs> it's just as good. All showered up and ready for bed. There will be more adventures from Colorado. Redemption CO rolls on. I hope you stick around. It'll be on the Single Track Samplers channel next. But until then, do me a favor. Go write something new. And maybe I'll see you on the trail.